Hi everyone, welcome to Jubilant Arts. My name is Judith. I am getting ready to do my Bible art journaling. When I was reflecting upon the scripture in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verses 12 to 13, it was the very powerful message which I received that is the spirit of truth. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth, for He will not speak on His own, but will speak whatever He hears, and He will declare to you the things that are to come. I have highlighted that verse here. So it is very interesting to know and it is very hard to accept sometimes to witness to the truth. It is really interesting how Jesus introduces the Holy Spirit under this title, Spirit of Truth. I think truth is too much for all of us to bear unless the Holy Spirit is alive within us to speak to us to have a deeper meaningful life. Also Spirit of Truth will set us free from all our human error. We are humans so we make so many errors and the Spirit will lead us to the righteous path. This passage gives me two wonderful insights worth pondering. One thing I've realized that if we are not truly open to the power and presence of the Holy Spirit, we can be certain that we cannot bear the truth. It is really frightening to think when the Holy Spirit is not fully immersed in someone, that person is left in the dark regarding all the truth and sadly, they will not even realize that they are in the dark. I really don't want that in my life. So when I, I, when I read the Gospel, sometimes... I, I can't understand, but I still keep reading it over and over again. Then only at a certain point, my mind will clear. The clarity in my brain will declare the deep truth hidden in these words, word of God. So today I'm going to... Uh, draw the Holy Spirit. Who can draw the Holy Spirit? We have seen in many visuals. Uh, but in my own way, because God has given me this talent uh, to create in my own way, I am going to use some uh, watercolors uh, and to see how I can get especially the clean white visual with the burning red flames around. So let me see how I can explain that to you. I have uh, drawn on a piece of white board uh, the door. And uh, I wanted to balance everything before I scribble 
on my Bible journaling book. So I got the cutout and with the pencil I have made some lines so that it, this would be my guide to work on the uh, sketchbook or the drawing book. So I wanted to save time because sometimes when you try to get an image you draw over and over again you erase it so uh, for the viewer it is very important that you uh, do a kind of a presentation uh, maybe within 5-10 minutes or 15 minutes so I thought I will do this uh, cardboard cutout then take it onto the board and paint it there so this is my guide very simple it it saves time and it has uh, helped me and given me a kind of a clear direction how you should proceed with your artwork
So this is my final artwork. This is my cutout. I kept it like this and I drew the outline. You saw that part very clearly. And after coloring the background, I had to leave it for some time because these uh, strokes are quite thick. So it has to dry up very well. It was, a, uh, it was kind of a very simple layout because only two or three colors were needed to do this. And the message is, this is how I see the Holy Spirit always coming as fire and with pure white kind of a, a spirit comes and clears my mind when I am really praying, praying hard and all of a sudden you you really feel that you know the heaviness is taken away from you. So this is a wonderful wonderful gift what we have received from God when Jesus left this world, he said, I am giving you the advocate, the power of the Holy Spirit to lead you. So we are very thankful to God for Jesus. We are very thankful for the power of the Holy Spirit. We are never alone in this world. So it is the greatest strength to believe that the truth always will lead you in the righteous path. The truth will always set you free. So I am not a self-righteous person. I always believe in the gospel and whenever uh, I get into these situations as a human where I need to uh, clarify certain things, I always refer to the gospel. So I am very proud that I am uh, doing this uh, Bible journaling, art journaling uh, and it, it is really giving me a time to give back to God with such gratitude uh, for all the blessings I have received. So today's Gospel, I still have many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. For He will not speak on His own, but will speak whatever He hears, and He will declare to you the things that are to come. When we are in these difficult situations, when we cannot find answers, why it happened, how it happened, why it is not happening. There's always a plan which we don't know for our life. It's, it's good always to surrender our lives and pray to God Almighty Father to take care of the situation and to live only on that hope. That hope will never let you down. So thank you everyone for joining me with this uh, presentation, with this gospel journaling. It is really an artwork, piece of art which I am doing. And I thank everybody for your subscription and for sharing my uh, page. And it has been very encouraging to get the comments even with my uh, members of my parish so god bless you and have a wonderful peaceful week